Naomi lived in the land of Judah with her husband and two sons. There was a famine in the land, so Naomi and her family decided to go to Moab. While they were there, Naomi's husband died. Naomi's sons married women from Moab, Orpah and Ruth. They all lived in Moab for ten years, and then Naomi's sons died. Naomi, Orpah and Ruth were all alone. Since the famine was over, Naomi decided to go home to Judah. The women were very sad to leave each other. Orpah returned home, but Ruth clung to Naomi. Ruth said, Wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So Naomi and Ruth returned to the land of Judah together. Ruth and Naomi needed food. So Ruth went into the fields to gather fallen grain. She happened to go to the field of Boaz, a good man from the family of Naomi's late husband. Boaz saw Ruth in his field. He had heard about Ruth and how she had been kind to Naomi. So Boaz told Ruth to stay in his field. Boaz made sure Ruth was safe and had enough food. After Ruth gathered grain, she went back to Naomi and told her about Boaz. He is one of our family redeemers, Naomi explained. A family redeemer was someone who would help his close relatives if they were in trouble. Naomi wanted to make sure Ruth had a husband to care for her, so she gave Ruth special instructions. Ruth put on her best clothes and laid down near Boaz's feet. In this way, Ruth showed Boaz that she hoped he would marry her. Boaz was surprised to see Ruth there. 
Ruth explained, you are a family redeemer. So Boaz stood before the elders in the town and made an agreement. He promised to redeem Ruth, which meant he would buy back the land that Naomi lost after her husband died, and he would marry Ruth. Later, Ruth and Boaz had a son named Obed. When Obed grew up, he was the father of Jesse, who was the father of King David. Boaz was a family redeemer. He helped his close relatives who were in trouble. Boaz cared for Ruth and Naomi because their husbands had died. In a similar way, Jesus is our redeemer. We need help because we sin. Jesus bought our salvation for us by taking our punishment when he died on the cross. What's up, BT Kids? My name is Logan, and I'm super excited that you're joining us this morning. Our lesson is God provided for Ruth, and our Bible passage comes out of the book of Ruth. In Old Testament times, families usually lived all together. Naomi and her husband had two sons. They lived in Judah, but there was a famine. A famine means that there was not enough food growing, so they had no food to eat. Naomi's family moved to Moab. Although Ruth was faithful and hardworking, gathering leftover grain from Boaz's field wasn't easy. It would have been very difficult for Ruth to gather enough for both she and Naomi to live on. In those days, women couldn't just go get a job the same way men could, so Naomi and Ruth needed God to help them and provide for them. God's law had special rules for what should happen when husbands died and women had no sons to care for them. In those cases, a family member of the husband could marry the woman and become her new husband. This family member was called a family redeemer. Boaz was a relative of Naomi's, and he was able to serve as the family redeemer. Boaz married Ruth, redeeming her. Boaz and Ruth were the great grandparents to King David. Jesus came from King David's family line and saved us from our sin. Jesus redeems us to his family forever. Our Christ connection is that Boaz was a family redeemer. He helped his close relatives who were in trouble. Boaz cared for Ruth and Naomi because their husbands had died. In a similar way, Jesus is our redeemer. We need help because we sin. Jesus bought our salvation for us by taking our punishment when he died on the cross. Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Luke from Buffalo, New York asks, My parents told me we we're going to move. I don't want to. What should I do? That is a question that I often hear asked. Well, my kids just experienced a move and I know it is often tough to move. And I am so sorry that you have to move. See, I have a 12 year old and an 11 year old and an eight year old and they just had to experience the move. You see, what I realized in their move and in our move was we often miss the people, the events, the church, the restaurants, and many other things that take place in the area where we currently live or that we have to move from. But as an encouragement, God is everywhere. God is both in the, in the place where you currently live and wherever it is you are moving to. And God has people who love him everywhere. So what is my encouragement to you? First, have a happy heart. God will go before you. God will make the path smooth for you and your parents as you all move. And if you have a happy heart, God will be well pleased with your happy heart. The Bible tells us to honor our mother and our father. And a way to honor them right now is to be glad about the move and to honor them with the move, even though it may be tough for you to have to move. You know, also trust that your parents know what's best. Trust their opinions, trust their desires and know that they want what is best for you. I would also encourage you to tell them how you feel. If you feel sad, let them know, mom, dad, grandma, I feel sad and they can help work through those emotions with you. 
I would also encourage you to, if you can, write down some things that you feel, draw pictures of the way that you feel, and you could have those as a memory even as you transition and as you move. And I would also encourage you to, to pray for the neighbors that you're leaving. You know, they're probably sad that you have to leave too. And the family members and friends and church friends, they're, they're probably sad. So pray for them as you move. In addition, pray for great new neighbors. One of the things that my family and I did as we were moving, we were, we were praying for the people in our neighborhood and we prayed, Lord, please give us loving, kind neighbors in our new home. And do you know what? The Lord gave us awesome neighbors in our new home because the Lord loves to answer prayers and the Lord wants us to trust and obey him. Why can we trust God and obey him wherever we live? Now, family, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look on you with favor and give you his sweet peace. You are loved. <laughs>